You ready, Johnny's Pizza? Who's uh, Johnny's Pizza? I, I thought that's that what was... Hunter's wearing over there. All right, welcome back. We're back in the duck call room. Welcome back. That's a that's a duck dummy. Good to have you folks here. Welcome Look, back. You know what's cool? What's cool, Martin? In less than a month. The movie comes out. The blind <laughs> premieres in less than a month now. It's it Ooh, seems we should tear like tear down the fourth wall. What? In exactly a month. In exactly a month. Mm. In a month. There it's August twenty eighth, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but it comes out September twenty eighth. But yeah. you know what? Here's the deal. Let's just cut to the chase, Martin. What? That's right we need after teal season. It is right after teal season, but we need you to go buy your tickets. Now, uh, right now, today, while you're listening to this, pause it whenever you get to if you're driving, when you get to where you're going, go buy your tickets. Yeah, buy your tickets because that's how they book theaters based on for independent films like people that pre order their tickets. Then, if there's when they reach a certain amount, then it gets another theater show and gets another this, another that because everything as we know is controlled by Hollywood, right? Yep, and they're starting to the blinds not making it in some theaters because they're looking at pre orders and it's like, eh, let's just throw you know all those big, terrible movies in over and over and over again because they might make a little more money so here's the deal if you have a group that's wanting to go see it go get go ahead and pre-order your tickets make a party out of it and go it's an awesome movie yeah well and it look it is the one time you'll in fact be able to go observe johnny d on film silent except in a zz top montage (laughs) (laughs) coolest part of the thing yeah i I have no lines yeah he says nothing but you know whenever all of a sudden that you're about to see your boy doing a little duck hunting yeah all right go buy your tickets because seriously not anything to do with me but we're trying to spread the gospel of jesus christ here um they put a lot of hard work into this movie it is going to be a real big deal and it will be an even bigger deal if our fans and listeners get behind it and pre-order your tickets. And I know that's kind of weird to do. You're, it's a month away, but it'll be worth it. I promise you. Plan a date night. Plan a group night. If you have a small group at your church, everybody get on board. Somebody buy the tickets. Split up the money. Go get you some popcorn and see an incredible movie. Please do that for us. Yeah. And all you have to do is go to theblindmovie.com right now. Get your tickets today. Look, and there's also the chance that you may get to watch it with the Robertson family. So that's kind of cool. I mean, I'm around them all the time, so I'll be glad to get rid of them. I'd, I'd love to send them. Are we doing that again? Oh, they're yeah. going to your movie theater. Yeah, they'll come watch the movie with you at your local theater oh. opening weekend, but you have to go to theblindmovie.com this week for the details. So I'm going to ask. What? Which Robertson is it? We don't know. All of them. All of I don't believe. Maybe all, a, a, a selection of some, but I bet that uh, man uh. to your... Phil's gonna go to a strange towns movie theater. I'm getting a head nod for allegedly, that. but That's it is word. a great movie with a really cool montage in the middle of it. But more importantly, yeah, a fantastic message. And there's a really beautiful Mallard Drake that gets shot with like a 28 gauge. Now you're gonna think it's a different gun, and it folds. <laughs> Maybe I did that. I don't. Maybe he did that's, that. That's, right. that's my said, one claim to fame in the said, whole movie. Maybe he did it. That's, that's, it's my that, Mallard Drake. That duck so. did look so perfect, and then it went. Yep, there it is. It's and bad. he was banded. How cool is that? That is cool. Hey, and a band. You know, otherwise people are going to keep driving to Austin and stuff to see like other weird movies. So book your tickets today. Yeah, I'm actually super mad at Hunter right now. Why are you mad at Hunter this weekend? What do you do? We're talking about movies, right? Hunter, do you mind if I tell this story? Uh, go for it. Yeah, this is why you want to date Hunter. So he texts me on, was that Saturday? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Saturday, Hunter texts me. He's like, dude, guess what? At the movie theater, it's the 30-year anniversary of Jurassic Park. It was awesome. You should take your kids. And I was like, oh, man, that's really cool. That's a great idea, Hunter. And I'm thinking. And then like 30 minutes later, Hunter texts me. He's like, oh, my bad. That was just today. And so he gives me this great idea and then basically says, you got 15 minutes to get to the movie theater. And so I was like, man, honey, thanks for getting me excited. And then just dashing all my hopes and dreams. One day. It but was did for you go? One no, day. I didn't oh. go. I had 12 minutes. My kids were eating spaghetti. Well, you could have seen the credits. That's a good point. Well, I've seen the movie before. And it was in 3D. Uh, I don't know. Ah, 3D doesn't really 3D do credits. So did you have to wear those glasses? I did. It was actually not as bad as I thought because normally I don't like watching movies Why in 3D. Why do they have different colored lenses on them? I don't know that they do that anymore. That was more like back in the TGIF days when you had to go to Wendy's and get your 3D glasses and then watch like NBC on Friday nights. Wow, that was a blast from the past. Wow. I think that was right. Johnny D. 
Go ahead. <laughs> I, I done forgot about that. I was a little, 90s kid. That little part of my life. <laughs> so, what are you licking yourself for? Uh, <laughs> I got dry, dry, dry you, skin here, boys. So, the only moisturizer anyway, you got I is you dry. dry. <laughs> dry. <laughs> so, so I think I'll just dry. lick my arm right quick. <laughs> my dog. Does does that. Right, they say right, it's because right. of old age. What's that? Cow. Are oh, you like a snake? Once you get old, you start shedding. Are you molting? <laughs> hey. He's molting. I'm molting, boy. So to keep from doing that, you just lick yourself. Yeah, right. there you go. Well, hey. I think a I shower would be more appropriate. I should have put some of that bite me on me. <laughs> that hey. way, maybe, maybe it wouldn't itch. Hey, hey. there you go. Well, <laughs> Rub it down, son. then somebody may bite you. Hey. Right, well, hey. Hey. Um, anyway, Hunter, I forgive you. Give me a knife, Eddie. It was it's a very easy size bite me. Well, that got off subject all of a sudden. Yeah, we're all over the place. I need to forgive Hunter for putting me on that roller coaster of emotions, though. You're That's forgiven, right. but right. next time, like, tell me before you go. I'll go with you. He yeah, did it. It he... didn't have it shown on Sunday, but it was also playing Sunday, and it oh, okay. It there didn't you go. show there you go. on Saturday when I looked. You're the movie expert. <laughs> I looked before texting you, and right. it didn't show. So it yeah. didn't show on Saturday, but it played on Sunday. Oh, Beth is grabbing uh -oh. the yeah. Yeah. There we go. Because the he did that to me last week. He, he texted me all of a sudden a screenshot, and he was like, the blind is already in theaters? And it was like, no. And he goes, oh, I'm looking at the wrong date. Hunter, yeah, you're looking at the wrong date. Hunter has an oh, epidemic God. of just telling people wrong movie time. Uh -oh. I'm starting to realize why his dating life is in shambles. Yeah, because he tells uh -oh. them the wrong day. Like, the hey, you want to go see Barbie and Oppenheimer in Austin? They drive halfway across the country. They get there, and he's like, that's tomorrow. There's more truth than that than you understand. <laughs> um, I, it's all beginning to make sense. <laughs> I love Hunter you, Hunter. I went to see Barbie in Austin, Texas, because it didn't play here. What, about, what does that do for you, Galvin? As a, as a movie buff like yourself. <laughs> Galvin arguably goes and sees as many movies as Hunter. So uh, Galvin's a movie man. Oh, not, he is. Not Barbie. Greatest movie of all time. Go. Gladiator. I was trying to say this. No, no he's Jeremiah Johnson. Oh, oh, Jeremiah think Johnson about that. That was on TV the other day. It was, on, last, it was on yesterday. Oh, yesterday, I yeah. just watched it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Robert Redford. Yep. Yeah. Jeremiah Johnson. Fine figure of a man. Some of them says, hey, yeah. he's still up there. That's all you need some to know. Some of them says he's dead, and some of them says he never will be. There it is. That was the I end. think he's still on the mountain. Mm -hmm. Who, Jeremiah? Yeah. He oh, yeah. Is. He's still up there, boys. He's still up there, you know, doing his thing. <laughs> Tapping in beaver. Have right. you ever seen the movie The Buffalo Rider? No. Who started it? I don't wreck. I, I, don't I might know. have, but I don't know. Nope. I don't think I have either. I need you to watch that, and then I need to know if the YouTube videos of the guy on the buffalo do it justice. No. Have you seen the guy on the buffalo? I have. That's yeah. the greatest. That, broke, that movie. That broke his gun on a stump? Yeah. Break your gun on a stump. You haven't seen, because you're the only person I know that would be like, ooh, a man riding a buffalo. I'm going to watch that whole that thing. Must, that must yeah. be a new one. No, it's from 1978. Yeah, it probably That's made like 1978? Mm, 1976. It must, have, it must have not have been much because I ain't one of them. Now, nah, you, don't, you don't hear much about the bad ones. All right, well, I've always wondered. Western drug. Now, the yeah, YouTube videos. It must not have been much because I, I had seen mm -mm. Of the guy on the buffalo, those are phenomenal. <laughs> They the literally probably the greatest YouTube videos ever made. Yeah, well. well I've been, I remember Mondo riding, riding the buffalo. What is that? Huh? He said that sums you up right there. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Your uncle rode a buffalo? No, no. I said, I don't even know what to say. Hey, Mongo rode a buffalo. Mongo, did he yeah. ride a, it was what, yeah. or was it a Bramer bull? Who's Mongo? It was a Bramer bull. Yeah, uh, and, and, and Blazing Saddles. Oh, I hadn't seen it. Me either. What? I haven't. I haven't watched Blazing well, they Saddles. Well, had the... the the bean sequence for about 15 minutes. Yeah, see, that doesn't sound like something I would enjoy. Yeah. That's one of my yeah. top 10 yeah. favorite movies. Oh, no, no. Blazing Saddle. Yeah. An interesting guy over here. It was, it was a 15 <laughs> minute scene of, of cowboys letting off gas because it ate nothing but beans too long. And it was 15 minutes? Of 15 it? minutes. Of Is that right, Hunter? No, it ain't, it ain't 15 minutes. Hunter says it's right. Unbelievable. <laughs> but it's a good boy. I, it was a long time. And I thought people were crazy for watching us spit tobacco for oh, about no, no, minutes. No, 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 no. It was yeah. that kind of deal. I huh. think that's where they probably got it from. You think? Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. our yeah. creative inspiration yeah. has yeah. been revealed. Yeah, creative it came from a, a Western movie. That, well, now, mm. see, that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, cowboys mm. eating too many beans. Cowboys oh. eating beans, so we're going to spit That's some right. up. That's right. Hmm. Makes yeah. perfect sense. Well, hey, no. yeah. On that on that note, I got no idea. Let's take a break. On. Let's take a break. <laughs> Go buy your tickets for the blind. We'll be back right after that. And see a real movie. All right. Well, right. Start. What I was waiting on something <laughs> profound to come. Uh, no, we are waiting on a profound. What statement, are we? What JD? are we doing? You want here? a profound statement? I'll yeah. give you a profound hey, statement. Give us to it. What? Got Simple it, right? website names. Nuts.com. What do you get there? You get your nuts, and they're great, and they're good. And you should go to nuts.com and get some now. And you can get other stuff. Martin, tell them about it. Oh. <laughs> and when they come in, give me the bourbon pecans. I want the cashews. Those are very uh, good. Well, whether you want cashews, almonds, pecan, pistachio, dried mango, crystallized ginger, dates. They got it all. Jelly beans, jawbreakers, root beer barrels. Mm -hmm. You can get it all at nuts.com. So. That's what you call variety. So don't yeah. let the name mislead you. You can get your favorite snack at nuts.com. It's not just nuts. Nuts.com is your one stop for freshly roasted nuts, dried fruits, sweets, pantry stables like specialty flowers, and more. So if you're into making weird pizzas like Johnny D is. Mm, that OO flower, got to get it from nuts.com. See, there you go. Look, their wide selection means that there's something for everyone. Nuts.com offers plenty of gluten-free options, organic choices, and other diet-friendly products. So whether you're looking for something sweet, savory, or need to stock up on everyday cooking essentials, you're bound to find something to try. Look, kids are going back to school. You want to make their lunch, give them a healthier snack. You can do that. All you got to do is just get on nuts.com, give them a bag full of nuts every morning, let them take a school with them. Perfect snack. You fills go. you up. I don't know what else you want. At nuts.com, quality is the top priority. They roast their nuts and pop their corn the same day it ships so that they reach you deliciously fresh. Satisfaction guaranteed. You can shop a la carte at any time or opt in. Hassle-free auto delivery so you never run out of your favorite items. And if you're already stocked up at home, they also sell directly to businesses. So I like that. Yeah. Mm. Hey, maybe we should ask them about doing like some chocolate covered duck calls or something. Uh -oh. We put it in the store. That'd be kind of cool. Mm. Wait, we become we become a partner and a and a sponsor. All in all With in one whack. All and, the things. I just what need you to want get in some it? of that peanut flour. Butter. Oh, maybe we get some little chocolate covered goblins. With peanut butter and hey, you could build it yourself. Maybe we can ask them about building all our own recipes. But look, we tried it. The it's almonds delicious. were fantastic. The bourbon pecans, there's a reason Si keeps asking for them. They're delicious. They're excellent. And surprisingly, the dried fruit. I never knew I was a dried fruit connoisseur. Oh, yeah, but that's that good. stuff is oh, dried yeah. mango I, fantastic. And yeah. it's good for you. I would say dried mango better than fresh mango, but that's neither here nor there. Look, right now, Nuts.com is offering new customers a free gift with purchase and free shipping on orders of $29 or more at Nuts.com slash duck. So go check out all the delicious options at Nuts.com slash duck. You receive a free gift and free shipping when you spend $29 or more. That's Nuts.com slash duck. Duck. It's just a bunch of farting. Damn. I'm currently trying to teach my kids that farting isn't funny. Well, that's a lie. Well, don't watch you. Uh, yeah. Farting is very yeah. funny. That's right. And hey. I get that yeah. it's funny, but like, like we can't just camp out there. Well. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, that one had a little hair on it. <laughs> You got it. And you're trying to teach your kids <laughs> farting and funny? You got to admit that's look, funny. Look. You got huh. hey, to admit that's funny. Listen. That is a weird movie. Yeah, I've seen parts of Blazing Saddles. I've just yeah. never watched uh, it all the way through. He, that was just a bunch of uh, ripping tooth. That was Mongo right there. Okay. That lit his cigar just sticking his face in the flame. Yeah. <laughs> Mongo tough. Hey, Ma Mongo's tough, buddy. Mm. <laughs> well, wow. well, we just spent uh, that break watching people rip rip them from beans. Yeah. That's it. Too many beans, boys. Lots of beans. So your parenting hack, Johnny D, is to teach your kids that farting well, isn't uh, funny. No, I disagree with that. See, yeah, so, okay. Yeah. So in the break, we watched that. Side nearly uh, hey. he farted himself while because he was laughing so hard <laughs> at the fart jokes from that movie. <laughs> so I think the more important lesson to teach your kids about farting is you can't trust them. Yeah. Not right. that they're not right. funny, because okay. they're hilarious. But yeah. once every joke careful. becomes a fart joke, like we have to, we have to change direction. And be careful of the SBD. That's right, silent but deadly. There you go. 
But I, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm on a, I'm, I am i haven't made a lot of. What's their favorite fart joke? I, I'm uh, like, Ben's favorite fart joke is to, because he's small and he's shifty, and his favorite <laughs> thing to do is sneak up on you, rear end right beside the face, rip, and he's sneaky, rip one and yeah, run, and he's sneaky. Like, oh, these aren't jokes. This is. Oh, there's plenty no. of jokes. But this is a prank. These are, oh, these are drive by. Yeah, yeah, this is prank. Oh no, it's not. This a is a, this yeah. is a hit and run. You can't sit anywhere in our house because he can like hang from anything. Like he will jump up, climb up behind the couch. You're sitting on the couch, and all of a sudden, blah, and then he gone. And so I'm trying to teach him like there are there are other ways to be funny, but they're just really camping out in the I'm seven and I'm nine, and we're gonna make fart jokes all until we fall asleep at night. Man, I'm so looking forward to those days. Look, he's not. This is gonna be. Fun. He's not. He's not laughing. Because of what gets, what's happening to him, but they're laughing. Yeah, they had to learn it from somewhere. Well, I've, I mean, so where they learn? <laughs> it from? Yeah, I mean, I, have I ever held one of them down and said, "Get, I got, I'm gonna get you back." <laughs> See, but but now we've gone too far. Yeah, that no, uh, yeah. Now that they're pulling the tricks on you, that's the deal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's the deal. Yeah. I, what I'm hearing is a right. sore loser. Oh, yeah. No, no, I haven't. Well, no, I, hey, what I, what I hear, yet. hey, what I hear, what goes around comes back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he ain't all about that comeback. Life, yeah, he ain't it? about comeback. Uh, oh, I have got him a couple really good times. I'm like, you keep doing this, and I've been like, hey, look, you want to play this game? You can keep playing it. Because I mean, I'm, surely you still get Allison with it, huh? Like in the bed, and no, oh, pull the that's not up. one that she ever found funny at all. <laughs> I mean, there's plenty of things that she finds funny. That one's not. That's not a good one. That's for like, no, nah, that's we're not laughing. We're not mad, but laughing. We're just mad. Yeah, like, this isn't fun. <laughs> So I think that's when it transferred over to the boys, and now that's all they do is run around with their rear ends out farting on people, and it's terrible. <laughs> and I wish I could say I didn't do that to Brittany, but, buddy, uh, I still let her rip. What? Pull that cover up over. Oh, I like to just turn. <laughs> turn and waft. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let her all release at once this and then terrible. get out of the Did way. Did you just fart on me? <laughs> <laughs> let, one of them, let one of them SPDs, boy. Uh, yeah. It's just she don't ask because she knows. She just says, oh, not again. <laughs> and then, you know. We have a very gassy family. Uh, well, everybody uh, does, right? Yeah. You, you still get Paula with it? All the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I do have a question because you were naked for a long time growing up. At what point did you start wearing clothes? Because my seven-year-old, well, he's against them. I had, I had to at when I started school. But he, like when you got home, did you leave your clothes? Like, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. You took them immediately off. Oh yeah, hey, they had to go. And when you were naked, did you leave your underwear on, or was you naked, naked? No, I naked, naked. Okay, we don't have that problem. Hey. So he leaves his drawers on. I was running wild and free. Oh, okay. I mean, I guarantee you, the past <laughs> three Sundays. I mean, it's been his whole life. But I, we will get out of the car, getting them from church. He will be inside. Clothes everywhere, sitting in his underwear before the door even gets closed. And I'm like, why can't we wear clothes? And he's like, yeah, boy's yeah. always naked, but yeah. in underwear. So They're I'm restrictive. No, boy. Yeah, it's, they smother you. Mm. Yeah. Clothes? They're restrictive. Clothes. So you don't just lounge around the house in your drawer sometimes? Uh -uh. Really? Uh -uh. Oh, there's, there's a many a time. Hey, there's a. Oh, you still don't wear clothes? Like, hey, hey, wait. Wait, and I'll open the door in a minute. Yeah. Give me a second. Yeah, give me a second. I gotta put some pants on. Well, I still lounge around the house in my drawer. <laughs> I hate hey, yeah. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, oh, you had a sister though. See, I was raised around a bunch of boys. Like I just had a brother, paper mill family. Yeah, I your, like, your parents probably held a little bit stronger regard because of the. I've, I've worn clothes pretty much my whole life. Man, that's wild. <laughs> I'd have like, never thought that from hey, you. You're way too as civilized, you JD. I well, mean, boxers not, <laughs> look like just short legged britches anyway. Mm hmm. I got a couple of pair I put on every night. Yeah, guy went lounge in his drawer. I've walked in there. Ain't no problem. Then I had Looks a buddy one time said, don't come in here. I'm naked. And I went in there anyway thinking he was bluffing. He was actually naked. He was actually yeah. naked. Yeah, I said, well, you, but good news is you don't lie. So That's yeah. always a plus. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. no, I, I, I mean, I was sleeping in my drawers. Yeah, but, but you don't just lounge? No. Really? Why? Mm. In case Look, somebody comes oh in. Oh, boy, what just happened there? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not one to get unexpected visits. There's a little bitty baby there picture you go. there. Look, that's within 30 seconds of getting in our house. That's that's him. 
Well, good for him. And he had the buttons on that shirt, so he couldn't even get them off. And he's stuck. Oh, and he's right. screaming. So he just added it another way. Well, good for him. And always wait. I just want to know at what cat. point do we leave our clothes on? I do find it funny that the first thing off is the shirt, not the shoes. No, first thing yeah. shirt. The shoes oftentimes make it longer than the the pants. Oh yeah, oh. that's be the last thing you take hmm. off. Is the shoes? Yeah, really. Yeah, you, yeah. How would you get the clothes off? Hey? That's the first thing I kick off when I go through the door of the house. <laughs> kick off my shoes. Yeah. Goblin don't even make it in the office with his own. No, I don't even know where they're at now. Yeah, see, he's barefoot right now. Where are they? I ain't seen them. You really don't know where your I shoes are? I actually miss being oh, barefoot. I know where his shoes are. They're over there. I actually miss going barefooted because, hey, now if I had to, uh, if something happens, I got to take shoes off and got to walk. Yeah. Yeah. Feet way too tender. Oh, I'm tender footed as yeah. it comes. I know. Yeah. You I can't walk, walk on walk. the gravel road no more. Hey, you can, throw, you can throw woods. a bottle down and bust it, and I can walk on it and don't even worry about it. Why would you do such a thing? Well, I'm just saying, hey, that's how tough my feet were. And also, they were by near black. I tell you what, though, the it weather. Wasn't, they wasn't dirty. I tell you why Ben's getting naked. As hot as it's been around here. Oh, yeah. It's too no, hot for clothes. Oh, yeah. We're like that commercial where the people are melting until they get an ice cold Coca Cola or whatever. That's that's where we've been. That's we fresh out saving. of Coca. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> saying, saving. And we. I looked at it today. We've hit twenty four days in August of over a hundred. Yeah, that's there, new, isn't it? There ain't but thirty one. No, I don't never recollect it. No, no. You, you, you think this is normal? No, hey, no, no. It's, it was that hot. You just. You're older, you it hits you better. You just a sissy for oh, this yeah. this long, no? though. Oh no! See, what, well, well, no. I better. I will say one thing. It used to be this hot, but when it got this hot, it always come up a shower. Yeah, it rains every evening. It, it, yeah. I'm serious. It used to rain when it was this hot in the summertime. You could you could depend on hey, here comes a little rain. Yeah, somewhere it got to rain. It would kind of hodge oh, hodge around, and oh, yeah. eventually it'd yeah. be your turn. Yeah. Well, you but, know it's hot when Louisiana gets wildfires. Yeah. Well, no, no, because it's just it. You know, oh, thinking of that, what was what plant blew up or something in, in Louisiana? Refinery. Huh? Refinery. A refinery. I didn't know that. Okay, because I, 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 I heard go it. Up. I heard it, and it was off the news. It was uh, Ugh. what do you call it? Where they told it? What do you call it? Stockpile. Or okay, something? stockpile. So our gas price, but it's under go it's a, they got it under control now. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, but I we just, had we had fires in Southwest Louisiana last week, or was that that was like that's where that that's where yeah. that refinery was. And there's some below, yeah, uh, yeah. below Toledo Bend, and Maryville. They mm -hmm. they uh, here, here's the difference in the weather. Evacuated now. that mandatory. Here's Marathon blew up. Yeah, Marathon here's the difference in the weather today. Back when I was a child in high school, growing up, like I said, in the summertime it got hot, but there will always come up a shower in the evening, and then when it when it hit September, you had to wear a jacket. Yeah, it was cold at night. You always had to wear put on a jacket mm. in September. Well, buddy, looking at the long term forecast, that's it's not. Oh no, no, because no, it it takes usually what. October going into November. Yeah, generally November. Down. Like at last yeah. week of October, yeah. you can count on a pretty cool little yeah. snap. little but snap, it, but it, it, you know. It'll warm right back up again, yeah. but not like, it'll at least be gone, like it what we got to, It now. used to, every year, it would get cooler in September, yeah. and then you started, you wore a coat from then on. Yeah. And I do have a thing against weather complainers. Like, we all go outside. You don't have to tell me yeah. you know, that it's hot outside. But everybody's got a pass right now. It's not even annoying. Yeah. We all just need to talk about how hot it is and how long it's been that hot. Electric bills high, hot, hungry. Air conditioner's going out. And yep. you ugly. Well, let's take another break. We'll be back right after this. Are you tired of draining your wallet? I'm very tired of it. Well, Rocket Money can help you put money back into that wallet and not just drain it. Did you know the average person has about 12 paid subscriptions a month? Whether it's 12. 12. Whether it's TV, music, you know, flour, candy, anything kids you stuff, want, subscription. you got a subscription to it now. You reckon? And yeah. then you forget about it, and then boom. Uh oh, well, yeah, yeah, I got a subscription You're losing money. to watch that show, and then I ain't watched nothing on that channel since. <laughs> That's <laughs> there the you problem. Go. And the problem is, it was probably free for like 10 or 30 days. Yeah, and then 14 they, days. Yeah, then they. Yeah. 
Yeah, my favorite's when they do 14 days and the show 16 days long. Mm-hmm. Like, you sorry. They <laughs> get you right. them last two you days. Watched, yeah. and then You watched it right up there, did it cut off. Yeah. And eight months later, you're still paying for it because you forgot about it. And it, hap- it happens to everybody. It happens all the time. Yep. I mean, I'll have to check on that now. Nope. Yeah. You shouldn't check on it. You should just get rocket money, and there they'll you check go. on it for and you. And they take care of it. They're going to take care of it. Look, and well, that's convenient. With Rocket Money, the personal finance app, it finds and cancels unwanted subscriptions, monitors spending, and helps lower your bills all in one place. So if you look at it and you're like, well, I want to keep that one, you can keep it. Keep if you it. want to cancel it, you just click a button and their concierge service takes care of it for you. You don't have to do any of it. They do it for you. No long, no long term uh Spent on phones, emails, customer service, all that stuff. No, that's not. Well, why are you doing that? Mm-hmm. Why are you can't. Oh, can we make you if a better do, offer? Oh, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, none of that. Bow, you're gone. Rocket Money says so. Look, most people think they're spending about 80 bucks on their subscriptions when in reality, Wrong. the number is closer to 200. So Ooh. imagine putting Double 120 it. bucks back in your ball. That's a pack right. of gas. That's, well, yeah, in your truck, it is. Look, when you've signed up for so many things like streaming services you use to watch one show or free trials for delivery that you just don't use, it's so easy to lose track of what you're paying for. Look, it was so nice to finally cancel my formula subscription. Praise be. Canceled. We've got enough to get us through 12 months, and then boys are going to quit cold turkeys, all I got to tell them. But it was super simple. All I had Better to do was go, than me. All I had to do was go hit cancel. Cancel. It was done. It Rocket was Money done. did it for me. Look, with Rocket Money, you can easily cancel the ones you don't want with just the press of a button. No more long hold times or annoying emails with customer service. Rocket Money does all the work for you. Rocket Money can even negotiate to lower your bills for you up to 20%. All you have to do is take a picture of your bill and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. Rocket Money also lets you monitor all your expenses in one place, recommends custom budgets based on your past spending, and they'll even send you notification when you've reached your spending limits. With over 3 million users and counting, Rocket Money customers have saved an average of 720 bucks a year. That's crazy. So stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your money the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash duck. That's rocketmoney.com slash duck. Rocketmoney.com slash duck, boys. I almost want to read this guy's entire email. Go ahead. How long is it? Very. Because he fancies himself as Mark Twain. Mark Uh-oh. Twain. It's, I don't know if we got that kind of thing. No, we don't. Mark Twain. Like, I mean, I've read Huck Finn, Tom Sawyer. Yeah. I'm just going to read. Are we Are we going into emails now? You can, you yeah. Can. Why not? Why Hello not? at DuckCallRoom.com. Yeah. Right. Think, you think, Josh. Do you think, we well, he's talking about rain, do you think fish gets wet when it rains? Yes. They get under a log. <laughs> no, they don't get wet. They get under a log, boy. Get under really? a log. Man, this guy asked me, he said, my daughter asked me this. He said, maybe you know the answer. Does fish think they're fish? <laughs> we we know we're humans. Uh, hmm. No, they know they're fish. They know if they get too far away from that log, that's all of it for that's them. That's right. Though. That's it, boys. <laughs> or a chatterbait comes by. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that salt pepper jig comes by. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. I like it. Them crappy magnets get so what you got? Okay, what's going on in the? Email? I think we got to discuss this guy's email. Okay. Go ahead. Hey, it is entirely fine. too long. Okay, oh, hey. grief. The, but, title, the title of it is "Love on the Line." Okay, but I'm going to read on you on the line. Hold on, one, two, on three, four, line. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, sixteen paragraphs. Let's see how good a reader you are. Uh, okay, but like, can you persuade me? Here's the first paragraph. Howdy there, y'all. Name's Josh. Hail from the heart of Flatwoods, West Virginia. Smack dab in the middle of this great old state. I reckon I'm just a 16-year-old buckaroo who needed some real quick advice. And I mean quick as a rabbit on a sugar rush. So I'm hollering at y'all for a hand. There you I go. Don't, I can't read this. <laughs> <laughs> I want to so bad. Why? A rabbit on but a it's sugar like rush. Huckleberry Finn or something's writing this book. And I don't. I didn't know people typed like this. I thought I was, for sure you talk like this. Yeah. But do people type like this? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, That's yeah. West Virginia. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, West, West Virginia, Virginia to a T. You get a lot of emails from there? No. no. I, got, I got a best friend that lives in West Virginia. Do you? And it's West Virginia by God, okay? West by God, Virginia. Yeah, why? West Virginia by God. Yeah. Huh. Anyways, hmm. he crossed past darn tier two years back with his fine girl online. Let me tell you, she's pretty as the sunset over a holler. 
<laughs> Funk yep. it over. They got to chat, and she's from the land of Mass. She's from the land of Massachusetts. No, she's just from Massachusetts. No, land of Massachusetts. That she lives there. Is that what I'm doing wrong? I'm just not talking like that. Well, there's land. <laughs> yeah, it's land. It's land. Now don't be fretting. She ain't no si it's like so. I can't read this whole thing, and I don't know what the problem is because it's too. Did he long. say don't be fretting? Now you no no. Now don't y'all be fretting. Now don't be fretting. She ain't no city slicker, liberal, no siree. <laughs> she's got more energy than a pack of hound dogs on a squirrel chase, but she's got the quiet side too. Like a calm creek on a summer day, she's a spunky firecracker, loud as a hootin' toot now, and quiet as a mouse sneaking through a cornfield. Sweet as a slice of homemade pie, remind me of little Debbie snack cakes. I tell you what, I had a hankering to make her mine right when she was school was ramping up like a bull at the rodeo, and I was visiting ask her be my one and only. Like this dude is Mark Twain meets well, Tolkien, what, what and he's, now, what, and he's sending now? me the Lord of the Rings from West Virginia. This sounds just like in books I read my boys. Yeah, and they're ten yeah. months rooting, mm -hmm. rooting oh, yeah. and the holler, yeah. cowboy, small, yeah. flip them right. all. Yeah, and like, so, yeah. Josh, I'm, I think the first thing you need to do is not worry about this girl and go write books because this is fantastic. Like he could write children's books. Oh, yeah. It's got the yeah. right. It's got yeah. the right rhymes. Mm -hmm. and the, now they don't need to be sixteen paragraphs long. As now, a, how long? As a parent who has to read them at bedtime, um, you can make oh, them Wendy shorter. Wendy, meet this gal. A couple of years ago, she's from the land of Massachusetts. And he ain't, Dutton, and yeah. he ain't, Dutton, and he ain't talked to her yet. I know they. I they think met so. online. Met yeah. online. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. She must be a talk. And then they thing. broke up. I think. Uh oh. They gone. Because she couldn't get a word in edgewise. <laughs> that's, that's the problem. No communication. I tell you, I'm caught between waiting out like a cold rattler and moving on, which is about as likely as a chicken laying square eggs. I'm like a calf rope to a fence stuck and struggling. I'm hanging on to a hope tighter than a tick on a hound. Guess what I'm learning, though, is that the man upstairs had this whole dang rodeo under control, and I've been trying to ride herd on it like a green horned cowboy. I don't even. Oh, boy, this I escalated I'm, quickly. <laughs> I'm just a tad touched in the noggin for thinking I could last so fate. I think he answered his own question. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm also just a little bit confused. I'm tempted. I'm I'm curious about lassoing fate. He tried to lasso fate. There was a bunch of texts in the wrong people up in here. She blocked him like a rusty gate at one point. Blocked him like a rusty. And he's gate. tough as a two dollar steak. <laughs> that's a tough one. <laughs> Cook that's, medium plus. He didn't say that. That's a toughie. <laughs> That's, a that's tough. why it was tough. I mean, he even rhymes. Hey, that's why it was tough. It wasn't medium flush. I'm telling you, I think he just sent us his next kid's book because that's what it sounds like. I said, hey, yes, hey, don't worry about the woman. Like I said, hey, right. What well, was the name right, of it? How right, I Met Your Mother? Book, children's book. <laughs> well, I don't. Oh, this just took another weird turn. All like, right. we're reading this because it was so long and now I'm enjoying it so much. Uh, can't rightly picture myself with nobody else. Though I reckon I'm still wet behind the ears and I ain't never met her in the flesh. He just texting this girl. Two years. And he's 16. My dog. Isn't that what yeah. you said? Yeah. Okay. Now we've now we found the issue. Yeah. She's probably not even real. No. Yeah. Bro. No. And if you're talking, if you're texting her the way you're emailing me. She's showing all her friends this and they're having a heck of a laugh. Oh, yeah. They're story. having a good time. And you're fantastic, my friend. Let me tell you that. But I don't. This is this is a lot. This is a lot. Mm. I would love to see his predictive text on his phone, though. <laughs> I'd love to know what words they're putting together for him. I'll tell you what, though. He's I, got a heap of hope and a handful of heartache, but it's like I'm staring at an empty fishing pole. Ain't no catch, just the echo of my own thoughts, bouncing around like them tumbleweeds. This man is a poet, I first don't know and foremost. No, he I knows. Don't know it. I mean, no, this was intentional. He's, one, like, of the, he's, he's one of them dudes when the music starts, he puts his hands on his hips and his feet go moving. <laughs> and he does that clogging. Well, he's feeling like a chicken with his head cut off, running around, going nowhere fast. And I'm aching, but I'm putting on a brave face, smiling through the storm like a scarecrow in a hurricane. My even, old is she. He just, he just writes in lyrics of country songs. Like I mean, There is a career path here is all oh, I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. Uh, you need to get off this girl and figure out how to make money doing this. Because it's hilarious to me. At 16. Hmm. I don't think 16-year-olds 16 talk old. like this either, do they? I mean, if you're in West Virginia, he's probably an old soul. Cause I just come from what West else Virginia. can you be? Life expectancy is probably like Colonial 40. Beach. So, 
you know, I mean, he may be almost halfway done with it. I'm just very interested in meeting this human being to see if this is a real or, or email, email, him, email, nah, email like, him back and give him your our uh, yeah. address. Tell him hey. come on in here, rooting, tooting, uh, ball busting. That's right. Come on in here, be on the podcast. Hey, he's real yeah. sorry if I yapped your ears off like a hound dog with a bone, but I surely do appreciate y'all listening. Thanks, y'all fellas, a heap, and may your trails be smooth as a fresh plowed field. Tell him to That's send in a video very smooth. message. No. Yeah. A fresh plowed smell ain't a fresh plowed ever, field ain't very smooth. You ever talked before? Hunter's got a great point. Just He's FaceTime point. him. Ask him for what a Josh. Say? No, Josh needs to send in a video question about this girl. No, he doesn't because he can write in seventeen paragraphs. We ain't getting the short, concise deal yeah, out of Mister no. Yashua. Hey, like this has gone a whole second. This boy That's is what long I'm saying. Wind, long winded. Like, got a lot to say in a short time to do it, boys. Well, I, it very much interested me, and I hadn't got to read the full thing because it was <laughs> so now. long. And then I was like, you know what? He he got there, there's even the word sarsaparilla in here, so it's it's it's. What do he there. rhyme with that? Uh, Gorilla, vanilla, critter, vanilla. critter. He popped the question like a bottle of good old sarsaparilla. She said yes, and I reckon I ain't never seen a happier critter. What question? Nope. I don't oh, know. Oh, this dude just played you, big dog. What? He has a girlfriend that he never met in the flesh. I think he made the whole thing no. up. But I thought no. he was blocked like a rusty gate. There's part no, of that's this I'm very No, no, hey, I'm going I back think, and forth. Hey, I, think, I think he, I think he, he I think it's all. She a said part. yes, and then she blocked him like a rusty gate. Yeah. And now he's sad about it. Mm. That's the point of the email. <laughs> Hmm. I, you got no hope, man. She I don't, closed, <laughs> she closed the I gate. I don't know about that. My head she, hurts. She closed the gate. Well, I'm not even. Yeah. Okay. I, like some, I, I don't know. I like uh, one, all he some, wanted is they said what something he about just a coon got. trying to climb a <laughs> three-legged <laughs> coon trying to climb a grease pole. Yep, that's in there. Hey, I tell you what works <laughs> on them deer feeders. Vaseline, what? them coons ain't getting up there. Yeah. Oh yeah, and they fun to watch tonight. They are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Martin. It was a weird email. That's, slick, that's slicker than a feeder pole of Vaseline. We're going to take a break. That's it, that's right. Right. We'll be right back in a rootin' tootin' hollering second. Hey! Anyways, back to this. I got a couple more, but that dude took up a lot of time. Hunter, I want you to know this. Uh-oh. There's a lot of people that want to be in your position of us fixing them up with that's a right. mate. That's right. Uh-oh. Right. So don't. they like, the old girl Amanda said, she already sent her profile. She said, I volunteer as tribute. Like, I'll be on it. I'll I'll do it. She got two cats and one dog. She What's, don't want to date you. What does she, she want? She wants us to set her up with people. I got she's excited already about a crazy dog. cat lady? Well, who? <laughs> Wait, what? I got excited about the dog. Oh. <laughs> he ain't a cat person. Oh, whoa, whoa. Yeah, hey, he ain't a cat person. He's a dog. Her man. name's Amanda, and her family calls Ow. her Gator. I'm I'm just probably not for you, Hunter. <laughs> Anyway, I bet she likes to be body. She shot. wants to be <laughs> <laughs> body slammed. And she's got I'm red a, hair. Oh, oh, oh. oh hey, yeah. Hey, if she's got red hair, she likes oh, to be yeah. body She may oh. rather be choke slammed. Hey, has, hey, 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 has hey. red hair that God gave her, but your girl likes to dye it brighter. Direct quote Your girl likes to dye it brighter. Hunter, you can't handle her, son. No, she's nope. too much. Mm, no chance. Not enough brains in not enough beans in your britches, buddy. That's it. That's it. We're no doing chance. you a favor here. But I I if we have a season two, Amanda's at the top of the list for people. Amanda, how are you on editing audio? Because <laughs> you can't just come here and be a contestant. No. You know, I didn't know that was part of the rule. Anyway, here's a great one I saw. Um uh, a guy emailed in named Aaron from Marshall, Texas, and he said he took this picture with Cy. Oh, wow. Huh. All right. So Is that Paul Lewis behind Cy? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know where this picture was taken. It's a real tree hardwood shirt. Okay. So do you know who Aaron is that emailed in in this photo? The baby? No, the <laughs> baby. Uh, That's oh. fantastic. Okay. Boom. Okay. There he is now. Yeah. Oh, okay. So he wanted to thank oh. you for coming to Marshall because he didn't remember the first time he met you because he was seven months old. You've been famous for a minute, man. Right. Yeah. So. Old age done you good. You used to have to wear glasses. Now you don't. Hey, that's it. He still got that crazy look in his eye. Don't he he does. Look at him. I'm not talking <laughs> about Aaron either. I love it. <laughs> How funny is that? 
Oh, so I've been taking pictures with people for so long they've grown from babies yeah. to adults so, that email yeah. this mm -hmm. podcast. Kind of like Russ. Now that's man. wild. What do you think about that? That's what I'm mm -hmm. saying. That's why I tell everybody. That when, baby just emailed you. No, no. Because yeah. that's why I it's tell It's like everybody. a Rush fan. <laughs> you know what happened? Si lost his glasses and his dad's got thicker. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> Look at that. Go back to that other one. That's wild, Look, man. Look at him. Yeah. <laughs> that is wild. I wish, the, I wish they'd have recreated the picture and had Cy stand up and his dad hold him again. <laughs> <laughs> like, that would have been that'd even, have been good. That would have been even more that's, fun. Yeah, that would have been good. Oh, man. I mean, Where is that is at the right one, This is the one I first took with him, and now here I am taking another one. That him. other one is like, um, that one right there. Where is that taken? I can't tell. It's. it's where is it taken? Yeah. It's at uh, Kyle's Omaha. Omaha uh, the, Omaha? First one, the first one, though? Huh? I no, mean, that shirt one. That shirt is Oh, old. no, no. The first one, I don't know. Omaha. Yeah. He was seven. Yeah, Did he say how old he is now? No. But uh, oh, he's more than seven, seven months. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I'm, I'm just going off of the. Um, Let me see. I'm going off size shirt, like, because that camouflage hasn't been made in. Yeah, a good while. Probably 16 years, 15, 16 years. Yeah. Stone was with you. Yeah, at least 16, 17. So. That's crazy. Yeah. So, yeah, that was it. Oh. Wow. So I still had all his teeth. Yamaha play. Oh, yeah. You see that first yeah. picture? So I still got all his teeth. Mm -hmm. He still had that zany look in his eye. Mm -hmm. I love it. But look at it. And his beard is like the exact same. That's fantastic. His it's mustache. It's shorter on that side for sure. Uh, every time. It's a little grayer. You're, oh. you're more white now. Man, I love it. Anyway. Why, I bet that was at like a church event or something. Because I see yeah. we were selling, like Phil was there selling merch. I see Duck Commander yep. shirts yep. back in the day. Yep. There's that, there's Heck, that I could have been there. Brown hat. And there's the old posters, the old Duck Commander posters we had. So. Very interesting, though, whenever I got that picture and I was like, hey, thanks for coming by. I don't remember the first time I met him because he was only oh six months old. Six months. And I was like, oh, my goodness, a baby that met Cy just emailed Cy years later. Hmm. It's weird. God is good. And took a picture. That's fantastic. There you go. That's cool, man. Well, that, that, well that's why I tell people I, I'm living proof that the Almighty is still alive and well. Yeah, there's these boys that walk up that say, you're all I watched when yeah. when I was growing up. And I look at them, and I'm like, well, man, we we about the same age. And I said, well, how old are you? And they're like, 17. I'm like, no, I am not 17. I just turned 38. <laughs> 38. <laughs> but, I still but I still feel like that. Oh, no. Yeah. Hold on. It was just Martin's 38. Hey, we haven't even said happy birthday. Well, thank you. Yeah. Now, what was Turn that? Up. Saturday? Three, two days ago? Saturday, yeah. Saturday. What'd you Happy do? birthday. No, I chased the air conditioner around the house. It was 107. Like, no. I didn't do anything. Brittany's like, we can go do this. No, no, no I'm, I'm going to stay right here. Yeah. Like, it's my birthday. Yeah. I ain't yeah. doing nothing. Yeah. Good and, job. and I accomplished go doing nothing. Ice cream bar out of the fridge. Yeah. Next, we got old John Boys is coming up next. When's your birthday? It is, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> September the 6th. Oh, yeah. He said it is. No, no, because my wife. She was reading my calendar the other day and said, where are you going hunting? Yep. And I said, I ain't going hunting nowhere. It's August. Yeah. And she said, it's on the calendar. Yeah. It's hunting well, season starts on Friday. Yeah. No, no, that's why. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I had said, I said, you done lost your mind. Well, I got to get my five dollar license. Either. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, you're yeah. harmless now. Yeah. Oh. I'm harmless. Gobble made it to the oh, harmless age. Right. This harmless. is the second year. He's a harmless Woo. man now. I'm 61 now. Five dollars. Oh, don't worry hey, about that. him. Don't worry about him. He ain't gonna kill nothing. That wasn't it the sixth? Isn't that yours mm -hmm. or the seventh? The sixth. When sixth. is that? What's today? Today's the twenty eighth. That's gonna Nine be hard. That's gonna away. be hard math. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Good grief! Yeah, your four day, your birthday's four days from Saturday. <laughs> Next Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. There you go. This year's went by. And Jeff well. is right there sometime. There's a little nest of Seven. us. The end of August, first of September. Like Tony Nails is the sick. John Howard. John is Howard the is the sick. Uh, your uncle. Yeah. So you gotta get your uncle. Yep. That's so seven. crazy because then, like, when you go to April, there's a whole bunch whole, of whole other slew of yeah. them. There's definitely our 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 Ken definitely had a few ruts. Yep. Oh, <laughs> there's a bunch brothers, of there's a nest of us born in last, in the same you? little clusters. It's funny, <laughs> right? It, yeah. All his brothers. <laughs> well, we're Saturday. all Christmas babies, you know. <laughs> yep. 
Like we were all Christmas presents. Yeah. <laughs> what is this end of April, beginning of May, people? I don't know. You had to back up ten about ten months from there. It's because it was so hot start, outside. Start, start a hunting season. It's right now. Yeah. No, it's just well, nothing else to do. <laughs> we ain't going out. Because let me tell you, on Martin's birthday, I had the first chance to go fishing. I've had like all summer. I was like, shoot, I'll go. We'll just be out by the time. That was dumb. It's yeah. hot. He said, I'm going fishing tomorrow. I said, good. Catch me a birthday bass. And I didn't. I don't didn't know. catch if, nothing. I don't know if he was thinking like, I was going to say, oh, I'll go. With, no. No. Uh, you have, have fun. Enjoy I was like, I stuff. got my you know, That would be a fishing trip to turn into a swimming project. Yeah. It's, you ain't lying. Well, right. why are you going to jump in the water? It was probably 92. It was. Mm -hmm. uh, it'd be a little yeah, well, bit. At is. least you'd be wet. I mean, they, oh. the, the water yeah. around here is so hot, you start to wrinkle, you get in it. Like, them fish come out pre-cooked. Yeah, they they already at medium. You ain't mm -hmm. even got to get them far to get a medium plus. Medium plus, <laughs> the only way to eat fish and steak, baby. Oh, uh, the fish yeah. are hot. The worms are crawling out of them. I'm mm -hmm. sure. So, you know what's out? They don't even want to eat. Digs up a worm and he's sitting there going. <laughs> 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 Cooling him off. I got. I got right, oh. go, go him off for easy. Yeah, right. the, right. the freshman class of uh, West Monroe had to do a project all summer long, and they had to dig up a worm and take a picture with it. They had all summer to do it. That, well, the, none of them did it. And right now they started. They all buy the boxes. Of and worms now they from can't. You. They can't worm. find the worm. They got to buy them. So yeah. every day, some kid comes in with his mom <laughs> behind him, and he's like, "Excuse me, sir. Um, can." Uh, do you have worms? I was like, yeah, dude. And his mom's like, I told him he had all summer, and now it's time to do it, and there's no worm. He can't find a worm anywhere, so we had to bring him here. But I've been laughing. Do you make them buy them? No. Do you at least charge them? Tax I, them? I tell them if they eat it, it's free, and then they look at me like I'm a crazy person, and then I let them take a picture because it makes me laugh. <laughs> now just make sure you slide honey hole in there. That way you're getting some brandy oh, at West Monroe yeah, High School. I'd have, all kind, of, I'd have, all, kind of I'd have all kind of fun with that. Yeah, they can't find worms because I yeah. guess everything's dried oh, yeah. up and dead. Oh, hey. Worms go where the water level is. And right now the water level is deep. They're a long way from here. Yeah, it's mm. deep. It's in okay. New Orleans. Mm. Wow. Well, let's take our last break. We'll be, we'll be back right, right after. Okay. And we're back. Yeah, we are back. <laughs> are we? We're back? That yeah, let's just go back. ahead and finish this. No, just let's just round this sucker Well, out. look, we were going to start like a new little deal because everybody asked, who all works at Duck Commander? And we were going to start bringing the employees in. And well, I asked two of them, our longest tenured. No. Yeah. And That's they amazing. both they well, both respectfully declined. Yeah. They, they, they Harry went, wasn't even respectful about it. Right, Harry yeah, you're right. They went no. donkey on him. Yeah. Well, Harry well, told me. He now he never committed. I may have made that part up when we were in the hall, but he did say I'm not going first, <laughs> and that was his only request that he didn't go first. I was it's like, well, bad, surely, huh, I was like, well, surely Becky will come. Yeah, because yeah. Becky's been here longer than anybody but Goblin. Correct, I think. And um, yeah, and Becky, I, I keep texting her, and so folks, well, go get her. Leave us some nice comments saying, "Becky, please come on." Hey. Harry, would you please come on? Harry's awesome. Now Harry's gonna be tough to get a segment out of. I'm just gonna be honest with y'all because he's an accountant. Harry's he's very always, serious. He's, he's very pretty quiet, but he knows everybody's secret. So if you have any questions, I got uh -oh. questions. Yeah, well, I'm not even gonna go down that road because hey. he does your family stuff too. So well, dun, dun, dun. Becky, Becky needs to come in here. That's he what does. I said. Because hey, look, we all love you because hey, you are the one that brings the money. <laughs> <laughs> See? Okay. See, yeah. Becky is a so, good hey, person. You're no. happy. So, hey, you get welcome. happy text from Becky. That's exactly <laughs> right. You have a check in my office. Now, she's probably the meanest person you've ever met on emails. <laughs> I, was, I guess I've never, I was about to say not I never emailed mean. Becky then. Somebody no, well, because her emails be. are all like three words long. Right. It's hilarious. Yeah, so right. I'm like, Becky, you can put a little emotion into that and like no. tell people that she's you appreciate no. it. And she, no, she's, no, you can't be emotional. She's out on that bag. But hey, tell you her you got to check you for be her. Hard. <laughs> oh, I could, I could flip the script. Say, Becky, come see me. I got a check for you. Yeah, she won't and show a, up. She a, knows where all the podcast room. Beth, can we get a check for like seven cents <laughs> <laughs> so we can pay Becky? <laughs> We're broken. No, um, but that's we want to introduce y'all to everybody behind mm -hmm. the scenes here at Duck Commander. So. We may need y'all's help in the comments where I can print them off and say, look, they, they want really want you guys. Can we get they Jeffrey? Want... Jeffrey? Yeah. Jeffrey. No, he ain't been here long enough. Okay. What about? I'm not sure he's committed what to What about? <laughs> I am. 
That's right. So, we don't know if he's committed. Yeah, I don't know if he's committed yeah. to the call. Jeffrey's yeah. one of the most interesting human beings in the world once you peel back that onion, though. Who yeah. is that? Who's Jeffrey? <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. See, we don't even know him. He, he hadn't worked here long. No, he's a guy that has the office across from me. It's just always vacant. He's, he's running around with Willie now. Yeah, he was he's not a, doing my old job, uh, but he's running around with Willie a lot. And so I get to hear all the fun stuff now. Uh, yeah. well, he's one of my best friends. But we do have a new employee who committed to be on our, our podcast. Just, that? She wanted to be here a little longer. Bella is actually working here. Bella really? Robertson. I refuse to call her by her new huh. last name. So she's a Robertson. We a have catch. a Robertson back in the house. She's working. Hey, who? How can I get some of that beans? I mean, coffee bean. What? Oh, you'll have to take that up with John Luke. That's his oh. deal, not mine. So it's a big warehouse, people. There's yeah, stuff we're, everywhere. We're oh, st- but we're just, I'm not telling coffee. you what to do. But in that back room back there, there's a bunch of bagged up coffee. So um, <laughs> I don't drink coffee. <laughs> I get you. Well, very little security involved. Uh, you go get whatever coffee you need. Yeah, who else works here these days? Parker. He's an interesting Parker. Cat. Yeah, like Parker, him. who runs Buck. We could have him in here. We could have Freddie come in. She's, she's our friendly therapist on the end. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's right. We have a therapist in our office. You have to. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't you think have to I ever met Fred. Oh, this bunch needs that's to Parker's. That's Parker's wife. I don't even know. She's who got Parker Willie's is. old office down there on the end. She so. works for Sadie. She works for Sadie. You know who we should have on here? Who? Sadie. The ratings would skyrocket. Nah. <laughs> She's not gonna. She's not gonna come down to our level. She, she so. hasn't got time to be uh, on here. Yeah, she's way too busy. <laughs> really I think I can get that Sadie girl, on there's here. A lot girl, of, there's a lot of new names. I should come, say that lady's got here. too much on her plate. But we could get Angela. Oh, Ange. Oh, Ange. Me and good. Angela shared an office for a while. Me and Angela shared an office for a while too. I'm just glad the remodel's almost over. We're about to have all these strangers oh, out of man. our office. Oh, but, but of course we're moving in a bunch of new strangers. Yeah, aren't you moving in around. all these people, yeah, the production folks? We're moving in a bunch of new clients. So we'll have Hunter here more often. Um, we can peel back. New guy, what was your name again? Jordan. 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 We'll have Jordan in here. Ladies, apparently he's single too. So he's got, he's. How long do you been here? Three days? He kind of resembles like me, days. to be fair. And John David. He's like, if you matched up me and Johnny D. So. Two months. You've been here two months. How old are you? 23. 23? Where are we finding all these young people? Like, well, gotta... he's got, what's it? Is your shirt hard? Did you go to Harding? Yeah, I did. Did you make it four years? Uh, Four and a half. You, you uh-huh. didn't get, hey, he, ladies. He re up. He made it all the way through Harding and didn't get kicked out. To me, that's a good accomplishment. Yeah. He uh, didn't say he finished. Oh, no, I finished. He just oh, said he, he was there, okay. he he was he was there for a while, but I did. <laughs> well, hey, yeah. look, if he made it through four and a half years, my hat's off to him. There you go. I, oh. It took me six. Did you go to the highway? I couldn't stand but yeah, a semester. I yeah. I couldn't stand but a semester. Me. <laughs> uh, name rings a bell, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to highway back in like 07 for the three days. I was, I was, ju- I was just over a couple of weeks. No, it's been longer now. Did you ever eat at Who Dats? A few times, yeah. It was good. Yeah. He knows the he knows that he knows northwest there, yeah. arc and northeast. That's kind of really more I was born and raised central. in the same town. So where are you really? Oh, you're from Cersei. I'm from Cersei. You're a Cersei native. Oh yeah. Oh I've wow. Never oh, met one. I, of you. I, yeah. I, I didn't know you existed. I didn't yeah. either. And I certainly didn't know you stayed there. <laughs> I didn't even know he was here. <laughs> Everybody I've met up there has been a transplant. So that's that's crazy. Good times, man. Small world. Hey, send us out of here. Let's go home. Shall we? Yeah. Hold on. I wasn't quite ready, but I was getting close to being ready. No. That means close. almost. Huh? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what. Oh, I was almost ready. James one twelve. Blessed mm. is the one who persevered under trial because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. Si, you're going to look good in a crown. A lot of jewels in that one, you know. Mm-hmm. You gonna look, you gonna look tight in a crown. I can appreciate. It. All right. We'll Do you think see. he gets to design his own? Huh? Oh, it'll be it'll no. be lined in teacups, no, buddy. I'll just take what he's offered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, robe, I don't care. Just give robe, it to me. A robe, a crown, and a mansion. And some my slippers. Robe. We'll see y'all next time. <laughs> some my slippers. We'll see y'all next time right here on the yeah, Duck Call Room. Mom. We're out. <laughs>